Hey, what's up guys? It's Soul Likes Gaming here, and today I wanted to show you a really cool design I made. Now, this is a design I came up with for a staircase that's hidden underground, so it's flush with the ground, and it's a really nice looking build, pretty compact if I do say so myself, and it opens up just like this. And as you can see, that's pretty neat. But yeah, I, I really wanted to show you guys how to build it, so let's crack on with the tutorial. Alright guys, so to start building this thing, alright, I'm not really going to tell you like the dimensions of it, but pretty much wherever you start building, you need to make sure that since this is the opening right here, you need to make sure that you have space for redstone four blocks back like this, because that's how far back it goes, and then you need to make sure you have space in this direction too, which is uh, four blocks, and this should be five blocks over here. So that's all the space you'll need for this build. All right, so let's crack on with it. So pretty much, I'm gonna start with a floor. So just make your floor like this. One, two, three, four. It needs to be a four by two, like this. There we go. And then what you're gonna do is build around it. Then like this, then add a little button right here for later. All right, now what you can do is knock out some of this floor for now. Oops, I went too far. Keep this part. All right, so this is where your stairs are going to start. So now you want to go down and place the sticky piston right here. And uh, right here and here and here. That's all for that part. You can go ahead and put your... Uh, four pieces back like this all right now what you're going to do is uh grab some slime and some honey blocks i'm going to put honey on one side like this in an l shape and then slime on the other now now all i need to do is finish place on the rest of these pistons before i actually get onto the redstone wiring part so the pistons for this one need to be right here oops this is coming this needs to come up a level. My mistake, guys. Push this up a level like this. Like that. And now you want to actually do the redstone wiring. So I'm going to start with the uh, this portion of the redstone wiring. What you basically want to do is uh, I'm going to use the red wool and obsidian for this one. All right, now take your obsidian and put it right here. And take your red wool, place it like this. And then what you want to do is place torches underneath like this. Now that whole section is powered. So after that, take some more red wool like this. Drag it, take it down like this and make it go around the other side. All right, now once you have that look, go ahead and add some repeaters. Put these all on three ticks. I've already done all the experimentation with this for you, so you don't have to worry about it being too slow or anything. These are the exact timings that I found work best without causing any glitches or piston duplication glitches or anything like that. All right, so run your redstone wire like this and connect these up. All right, once that's done, you want to go over here, place a torch, and you're done with that side. You're done with that part. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, wire up these. So take some blocks like this. Then what you want to do is run this around over here. Oops, there we go. Do the same to the other side. And this is just the uh, sort of a double piston extend extension type thing, but it's using slime blocks. So there's no uh, worries about the funky ways you get pistons to retract blocks and they have to like double tap it and do all that weird stuff. Slime blocks just make everything easier, honestly. So yeah, 
There we go, like that. And then that's your, um, that's this extension part done. Now all you need to do is link it up to this um, power right here. So I'm gonna take some uh, wool and line this up like this. Like that. Place a repeater right here. No delay. Do like that. Then once you've done that, go ahead and place a repeater right here as well, but put it on three ticks delay. All right, you can get rid of this block here and place a torch. And that'll be used later. I'll show you later what that is. Oh, I forgot. Before you complete this design, you need to do this. You have to link up these. So let me get rid of this right quick before I break it. These need to be linked up like this. Basically, it's that way you don't have to uh, make a connection on both sides. Just do it on one side and link these up like this. All right, drag this across, and there we go. All connected by one thing. All right, now for the next portion, we are going to add the uh, the block swappers. So this is a double piston extension blocks block swapper, and you have to go two out for this one. So go two blocks out, then place your um, place your first piston right here. It has to be a regular piston. And then come behind it and place uh, sticky pistons like this. Now you're going to do the same to the other side, but it has to be three blocks away this time. So one, two, three. And then you want your piston face right here. All right, go ahead and get rid of these. Put some sticky pistons behind that and that's done now we're going to wire these up these need to work independently of each other so i'm going to give them different colors all right so what you want to do grab a block like this and follow this pattern get rid of that because you don't need that block and then like this oops like that there we go now line this up with redstone like this. Place a repeater on two ticks delay right here. And then do the same right here. All right, for the other side, it's gonna be the same exact thing mirror, but I'm gonna use a different color because it's gonna be slightly different. All right, so for this design, as you guessed it, do the same exact thing right here. that all right once that's once that's complete this is the final step for that part so go ahead and take some blocks like this oops like this and then repeat it right here on two ticks and a redstone piece redstone dust right there the reason why is you want this to uh, activate a lot quicker once this comes down so instead of waiting for this to get here and to touch this repeater and activate these pistons it activates right here instead and it still it still functions the same but just works quicker all right once you've done that take a uh, take some blocks like this do just like that place a repeater right here no ticks delay or one tick um, as you can say they need to grab some glass Place some glass like this, that on top, and then you want to bring this connection down like this. All right. Now that that's done, continue. Uh, you need to make a bridge from this red connection into this blue wiring. So, what you're going to do is you're going to make a, uh, a mono stable circuit right here. So, grab a piston, place a block on top, and then Place a repeater on this side at four ticks delay, like that. 
and that's your mono stable, stable circuit complete to make sure that when this is pushed it'll retract really quickly and not stay and not stay on and now we want to uh, add this last function here take some uh, redstone wiring I'm gonna use purple wiring for this one take some wool like this come to out place a block and then uh, like this you want it to come to here so then place some repeaters right here redstone dust another uh, block right here like this and then uh, one two three four ticks right here double four ticks come up place a uh, place a sticky piston right here once you've done that take this connection drag it across to this button so it's coming right here place a block right here to block off the redstone from interfering with that do like that and place a torch right here once you do that come down like this and then place a repeater right here one tick delay then like that now what we need to do is uh, let's see if I turn this off there we go place a uh, place some blocks right here place two blocks of your choice right here these are the floor blocks or not the floor blocks but they're the side blocks you don't want to have any gaps so place these right here and then grab the stairs if you're choosing place them like this and that is your whole function complete now before you uh, finish this you want to make sure that these pistons push everything back when you're done with your stairs so grab a connection like this grab some redstone right here and then place a repeater right here there we go now if you were to run this it would do just like that you see the blocks get swapped over the stairs come out and then this powers these two pistons pushing the stairs back up and if you were to turn it off the opposite happens it all goes in the opposite direction now that that's done this is the final step so what we have done is we've made the floor open up and we have two sets of stairs but now we need another set of stairs and we're gonna make these stairs come up from underneath this uh, sticky piston opening so what you're gonna do is uh, go down two blocks like this place up uh, some sticky pistons just like this and then grab some slime like this you can get rid of this uh, block right here these blocks and now we're gonna wire this up so basically this is another double piston extender that it uses the slime block mechanic so there's no need for that um, funky double piston extender type thing where you have to make the piston extend extend again retract extend and retract then you know it's stupid so I thought just do this instead saves you a lot of time so we're gonna wire this up like this grab some redstone just like this and put it here right here and then take this a connection all the way around like this and then grab a repeater put it on two ticks delay and come around here place uh, another two blocks right here and then you want your repeater right here and then you want this repeater to be on you know, one tick delay and then place a redstone connection like this now as you see those um, that stick that, that slime block platform clubs up, comes up and all you have to do is place these stairs on this slime block platform like this and now everything should be working correctly so if you were to turn this off you see the floor comes back everything opens up the floor gets swapped with the stairs they come up and then these final stairs come up at the bottom now as for all this green wiring right here this could be this is supposed to be the floor you can't make it go continuously stairs but you can just do some stairs right here and continue to go down if you want to 
or you can make this your floor and just have it like go out go off like that and you can use uh, different blocks it doesn't have to be uh, the blocks you use to uh, do the redstone and then if you don't want to see this redstone just place some obsidian yeah just place some obsidian right here if you want to cover up the redstone wiring and then nobody will be able to see it beyond that and pretty much you can it's up to you how you want to beautify this thing but that's the design all working and it's nice and fast and it looks really smooth I like the way it comes out you don't have it there's no like delay between everything moving and it's fun to use I honestly I could do this all day <laughs> but yeah anyway guys that was my design for a really nice hidden staircase and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, if you want to see more like this video leave some comments and I'll look forward to doing more like this thank you